All right. Let's try this again. Go to settings, output. All right, we're back at zero drop frames. Hey, Thundery. Hey, Brayden. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, not too bad, Thundery. Not too bad at all. Had a little bit of an issue with the stream, but I think I got it figured out. So today we're uh, we're checking out a game called Skyhaven. <laughs> this is a game I play. Uh, I play another game called Airline Manager Four, and um, I managed to get a key for this off of airline manager 4 Yes it is thundery this is the game this is called Skyhaven. So, um, I've already played the, the, the tutorial for this. So, I've got a basic idea of how it works. So, um, I figure, uh, let, let's, let's get at her. All right, so put a little road out there. Uh, we're going to put our runway in. I think we'll, where do we want to put this? I think we'll, all right, so it wants us to put the runway right here. Then we need our grass strip exit. All right, now these are our um, grass ramps. So this is where like the planes will come off of the runway and they'll come back around and um, they'll, this is where they, the plane kind of stages to load and unload the passengers and whatnot. So we'll put that right there. And we'll go to our grass taxiway. 
boom. <coughs> Put that there. Hey, Shug, how's it going? Sorry, I was uh, <clears throat> responding to a text from the girlfriend. Yes, I know, it's such an alien concept to you people. Hey, Shug, how's it going? Oh, shoot. Um... Oh, that sounds like fun. Ramp number two and number three. All right, so we're going to go back over here. Grass taxiway to these. And then boom, boom, <coughs> boom. All right, so we're going to get our fuel barrel stock. And we're going to place that there. Um, we're going to dismiss that for now. Cargo storage. Boom. Then we're going to go back down here, grass road. And then connect that up so that way the supply line is connected. Uh, we're going to buy two vehicles one and two. Uh, let's check our cargo management. Yep, we got plenty of cargo. Then we're going to go to our fuel barrel storage. Hey, Bonehead, what's up, buddy? All right, now... Ah, thanks, Bonehead. I appreciate it, man. Hey, have a good, uh, have a good stream yourself. All right, there we go. Bought a truck. Open fuel management. We're going to go to supply management. 
and we're going to go down here to new contract instant and we've got eleven thousand one hundred twenty dollars so we're going to go ahead and fill up our stockpile for fifty four hundred or at least well six thousand gallons All right, and that'll be here in 21 minutes of game time. Now we're going to go back up here. Um, connect to nearest facilities for that ramp. Then we're going to click on this other ramp connect to nearest facilities. This ramp, connect to nearest facilities. And we are completely connected up and oh, just about ready to start uh, to actually open the airport. We're gonna get the airport administration building. We're gonna slap that puppy down right there. And here we are. We are ready to go. <clears throat> so now we are going to go ahead and press normal speed because we are ready to get rocking and rolling. So how is everybody tonight? Uh, what do you what do you think of the stream so far? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a really scratchy throat tonight. <laughs> my girlfriend came in here for all of maybe a second and then said it's boring to her now i know how 4b feels His wife thinks that gaming is boring. Um, what the heck? Great, so now I'm in the negative. Oh, that's, that's nice. Okay, so the fuel truck was late. All right, let me get chat back open here. Yeah. 
Oh, that would uh, be my phone that's echoing. Sorry, Shug. <clears throat> All right, so check out our incoming flights. There we go. And we got our first freaking plane coming in. Heck yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and speed up time just a little bit here. Oh, there she goes. Oh, we got another one. Heck yeah, that one's paying 840 bucks. Now, this is something that I find to be really cool. Um, so if you click on the plane... It'll tell you, like, you know, the company that it is and give you all the information. And if you come over here, you'll see um, if via the vehicle gets got stuck due to deadlock, blah, blah, blah. Then you got go to airliner. And you can actually zoom in. Check this out, guys. This is awesome right here. Here's our other plane. See, it even tells you, like, the type of plane, PC-1025, Farman F-50 Freight. That one is a Beloy XI. Oh, and here we got another one. Oh, this one's paying four twenty nine. Let's go ahead and uh, give that one uh, a ramp here. get ourselves back up out of debt. So that way we can start getting research points. because I made that little boo-boo on the uh, the fuel. There she goes for takeoff. Now let's check on this one here. Uh, services are being performed. So yeah, we got our cargo and our being taken off and fuel being loaded up. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Kick her up to turboprop. There's our next aircraft. There's our craft that aircraft that came into land. That one's taken back off. All right, here's another $425. Because he's going to make you holla. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that was probably a little too much. Almost out of debt, baby. Almost out of debt. Just need one more plane. Come on. 
One, one, two more planes. Give me an $800 plane. Come on. Give daddy an $800 plane. Oh, here we go. 896 and 429. There we go. All right. All right, and um, we're going to go ahead and churn this plane away because we just we don't have enough uh, ramps for it. Uh, do we have an open spot? No, we do not. So we're going to have to turn this one away too. So we are back in the green by $143. That's about to go up just a wee bit more. All right, so we got all three planes sitting there on the uh, the ramps. Okay, sorry about that. I had another text message to answer. <laughs> oh. Ooh, ooh. Let, let's see if I can get one of these uh, ramps cleared out. Yes, $940. We will go ahead and give you that one, and we're going to have to turn the rest of you guys back out. All right, one, one, uh, $1,200 in the green, heck yeah. All right, and all right. Turn the rest of these back away. <laughs> we still got anybody left in here? So we're going to keep on cranking out these planes. All right, here's another $800 job. We do not have the facilities for this one. Ugh. Hurts me to have to turn away a $900 job or... Oh, okay, Shug. All right, $896. We have an open ramp. Let's go ahead and bring this one on in. Oh, here comes another one that we just do not have the facilities for, so we're going to have to turn that one away. 
$429 on this one. Let's go ahead and take that. Just a little baby airport, so can't exactly afford to churn any planes away. Oof. How long we got left on these here? Oh, Shazam, baby. Shazam. That. Oh, you son of a biscuit eater. All right, let's see if we can keep a ramp open for this one. Or if we can get a ramp open for this one. Because that's a fat payday right there, $1,082. And, you know, the cost is only going to be 103 Heck yes. I'll take that all day long. <laughs> all right, and we've got an open ramp for that baby. Get on in there. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take this 425 Ain't got no room for you. Keep this window here open. Okay, we got to go into our cargo, supply management. Just miss all of those. New contract. 50. Sign. All right. In about 15 seconds, we'll have more coming in. <coughs> Come on. Close the window. All right, let's get back up here. Dismiss. Dismiss. Go ahead and take this plane. $940, come to... $1,082, come to daddy. And we're gonna turn those two away. Twenty-nine. No room for any more planes. Oh, and we just had one open back up. Dang it. So we're back up to eight hundred or eight thousand seven hundred and sixty-nine dollars. I want to get back up to fourteen hundred. So that way I can uh, expand the airport a little bit more. We'll take that one in. And we'll take that one in. I think that's going to be, yep, That's the, those are going to be our last planes. Hey, Jason. Um, I am playing Skyhaven. Um, this is the game that I was talking about on uh, 4B's channel uh, that I, I, I had said I was going give to a, give a shot. Right now, um, just getting the airport rolling. Um, going to try to build up 14 grand, but back up to 14 grand so I can uh, expand the airport. Oh, we are going to go in here. 
And we're also going to hire staff. Which is, staff costs $750 a piece. But the more staff you have, the more um, research points you can build up every day. So we definitely got to get those research points going. So we are going to go ahead, fast forward to midnight. Okay. Yeah, see, that, like, just totally destroyed our bank right there. But, I mean, you know, we made uh, 1440 what, 14000 Wow. Okay, cool. So that means that we'll be able to get back up and going again the next day, no problem. <laughs> and be able to, you know, and this time, we're not starting off in the red either with uh, opening up the airport. So let's go ahead, $896 for this first plane of the day. <clears throat> We're going to do turbo prop speed, 940, heck yeah. And a 429. So we're going to bring it back down to normal. And we're going to switch our runway to departure for now. Actually, no, we still need to keep it at both. <laughs> We're going to have to go ahead and turn this plane away. Go ahead and get that second plane in. Oops. There it goes. While those are over there doing their thing, we're going to go over here and figure out <clears throat> uh, let's go to personnel. See what skycaps do. See if I can, yeah, I can start off with those. Uh, we don't need skycaps right now. Cargo handling instructions, that we need. Uh, cancel that, cancel that. We'll do fuel, fuel personnel training as well. So 20, 30, 20, 38 is how many we've used so far. All right, we're going to take this $940. Boom. We're going to turn those two away because I'm a pretentious douchebag. Hey, Keith, how's it going, buddy? Where'd you guys come over from? Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and turn those two planes away. Um, 
Can't take that one yet either. Ah, oh, son of a... Go freaking figure. Uh, Bonehead was in here for just a minute. He was making a drive-by. Ooh, 940 bucks. Heck yeah. Ring it. I'm going to wait a minute. All right, we're going to pause this. Oh, sweet Lord. So we're going to get $2,700 of fuel. Screw it, beggars can't be choosers. All right, that'll work. Ah, oh, gotcha, Keith. Hossinator, what's up, buddy? Thanks for coming in, dude. Hell yeah. Thank you. Wow. Um, it it makes me happy to see familiar faces popping in here, man. That 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 feels good. Get some cargo in. All right, fueling personnel training is finished. That should be all of my research. And yes, I know cargo is coming. Okay, cargo handling instructions. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, gotcha. Well, thanks for coming in, Haas. Really, I, I really do appreciate it. I, I appreciate all of you guys, man. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel loved.
God bless it. All right, let's see if we can get one more in here. Hell, <laughs> hell yeah, Haas. Well, it's definitely, it's definitely appreciated, my guy. Definitely appreciated. <clears throat> All right, I, I would be streaming Farm Sim, but um, I don't know. I've been having some sort of issue can't figure out what it is but it just it essentially causes my uh <laughs> ah whatever you think bud whatever you think uh shug whatever floats your boat my guy <laughs> we tolerate <laughs> oh god you guys are full of just so much love. I am dead serious, though, man. I, it, it really does mean a lot to see you guys coming in here. You know, I talk to you on, on other streams and, you know, and stuff like that, man. It's just, it, it's cool, man. It's really cool. Hello, paving, tarmac, where's my dinner, there it is. <laughs> I would have the the camera on but i i just i have zero light in here except for the hideous light coming from my uh my screen ditto shug and haas since when did you actually know how to be nice god i feel lied to now I thought you legitimately cared. I was going to get an uh, give an Oscar speech, you know, ended with you love me. You really really love me. But now y'all can go pack sand. Oh, I'm sure that it doesn't feel all that great there, Haas. I'm sure it feels alien and dirty.
<laughs> now, now, children, play nice. Can't we all just get along? Whoa! Ooh! Ooh, now we're throwing out n Lot Lizard as an insult? Jesus, man. Y'all got some hate in you tonight. Maybe I need to go give Gertie a call. Get her to come give y'all a visit. Yeah, I bet my coffin nail. I didn't say I didn't like you being nice. That's shug. <laughs> You better hope Lane the uh, Lane's not lurking in the background, dude. Just saying. Four B might actually get you next stream. Oh, I'm sure you have done worse for less, Shug. I've actually had one on one conversations with you. You strike me as a twisted motherfucker. Uh, I'm sure you will take your chances. Says the man who has a who lives with a death wish. Hossinator, I have been hired to do things that I can't legally talk about. Based on grounds of self-incrimination. Ooh, that's a good one of one of the final planes of the day.
So I'd say for the most part, this airport's actually doing okay, getting, you know, getting started, getting off the ground. I just need to move more traffic through. Let's go ahead and pause this. Bring in 3,000 or 2,000, yeah, 3,000 gallons. Absolutely it is. You ain't lying there, Jason. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward. Finished out the day just a little bit more in uh, in the positive. Heck yeah, that works for me. All right. Oh, yes. That means Oh, Tarmac Road, buddy. And Tarmac Taxiway. Does that mean nope, we don't have a Tarmac runway yet though. So let's go back in here. Uh, office work. I really don't care about that stuff. Passenger services. Base hospitality. What do we got with base hospitality? What comes with that? All right, that comes with the early days airport station, right omnibus S1, and the busing ZU560. All right, so one for passenger, a bus for passengers, and a uh, truck for... I'm I'm not even going to answer that, Shug. Four hours, 57 minutes on that one. If I were to answer that one, I'd be a liar. Progress is always driven by dreamers. Yesterday it was just an idea. Today it is a young and rapidly growing business like mushrooms after a rain. On cow patties. Magic mushrooms. Regular passenger flights, no regulation to hold back development. Sometimes what happens in the sky resembles chaos. <laughs> Sometimes what happens in the sky resembles chaos, but it's an extremely interesting chaos and also quite profitable. Era features more travel, small and medium aircraft, scheduled flights, more complex aircraft will require flight check services.
All right, next plane coming in. So now I just need to start making money to building up more money to upgrade and expand. That one's gone. That one's gone. And we're going to take this one. Nope. Nope. Yes. Who's your drug dealer, Haas? Because um, I want some. I'd love to live in your fantasy land. Uh, get some more cargo. <clears throat> yes, base hospitality researched. Let's check this out. Early days airport station. Rotate this puppy around. All right, so we got to demolish some road here. Then we're going to place this down. Got to demolish more road. There. Then we're going to go in here and buy one and one. And link to all available ramps. Link to all available ramps. Perfect. I'm a great person to be friends with.
I hear what you're saying there, Shug. I I I understand that 100%, my guy. I know exactly how you feel there. Arrow snacks. Bingo. That's what I needed. We're going to spend two grand on fuel. We've all been hosed over by somebody at some point in our lives, and it makes it hard for us to be able to trust other people. That's why we are the way we are. And that's why I have relationship issues. <laughs> Not even going to try to understate that one. Ooh, $1,092? Yes, please. Word, my guy. I can identify with all of you, with with both of you guys, seriously. It's how he makes a living. I'm just here to help him. Hey, 
Right, right, Shug? E exactly, man. I mean, you know, and definitely, you know, e everything you do never goes unnoticed, dude. Trust me on that one. You know, you're always going to be appreciated for anything and everything you do. Facts, Hoss. Fucking facts. I'm going to get out my subway. Yep, that's right. But at least you respect that, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't know why nobody else will play on the server. I don't get that. And I've told Lane that he needs to spend more time on the server because, honestly, it could make some great content. I mean, what does it matter if it's a cross-platform server, though? That, that's my question. What does it matter? I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a cross. Okay, so the mods, you know, it's cross-platform only mods. I get it, but I mean, at the same time, who cares, dude? You get to interact with other people. I mean, you could get on there the same time as Lane and help him make some really good fucking content. I mean, the thing is, is if more subscribers would actually get on there and play with them, you know, that Lane could get some really, really good content. Who cares if you guys are the cheaty ones?
Or are you talking about the uh, the mods being cheaty? You know, my problem with being able to get onto the member server is when nine times out of ten when Lane's doing something, you know, I'm still driving. Oh, the mods. I mean they're they're still fun mods, dude. Oh, I got you, Jason. I mean, two each his own, I guess. Oh shit, a $1,200 one? Come on, come on guys, hurry up. Get a slot open. Oh, I got you, Haas. You know, Shug, that's something about, that's actually something that's got me a little salty at um, at YouTube, is the fact that you can only gift memberships through, you know, on PC. That's BS. Yeah, I think it's garbage that you can't gift memberships off of your phone. Hey, what's up, Kubota? Kubota, back from the dead. Yeah, I I don't get it, Jason. I don't get it either, Jason. I probably never will either. And I don't have the facilities to support that plane. We're going to take this plane. And I think we're going to have to turn that guy. Ah. Oh, heck yeah. $1,193 on this guy. Uh, 
refill that. So we're going to go to this one. Another 2,000 gallons of fuel. Oh, and believe me, T-Shug, you don't, it, it doesn't go unnoticed, bud. Yeah, Kubota, I actually am streaming from the truck. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Jason. I am actually somewhere near um, Seneca, South Carolina. Uh, well, um, yeah, Kubota, I'm actually using a, uh, a Verizon, uh, hotspot. Like, uh, 4B. Uh, that's no bueno, Thundery. Why don't you go get some rest, man? Yeah, I had COVID twice, uh, once, and never went to the doctor. I stayed right out here on the truck. Worked, uh, worked for an entire month. Yes, yes, me and 4B did meet the other day at a truck stop. I was in the air, I was near nearby. <laughs> well, don't stay up on my account, uh, Thundery. I mean, you, if you don't feel good, you need to get some rest, bud. Get that good healing sleep. <clears throat> oh, that was a better finishing out day. Heck yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Hope you I'll I'll I hope you feel better like uh tomorrow, Thundery. I'll say a prayer for you.
Oh, yeah. Sorry if you guys end up uh, hearing a train pass by behind me every now and then. Um, my ass is facing train tracks. Shit, Kubota. I've had 4B. Me and 4B have had each other's phone numbers for God. Two, three months now? Where the hell have you been? Me and 4B talk on the phone every other day. Oh, uh, yeah. Air traffic control tower. Give me that. Nice. Oh, wait, we need to pause this. Um, this is Skyhaven, Kubota. You can find it on Steam. I play a game called um, Airline Manager 4, and I managed to get my hands on an early access key for this. No, nah, I'm still in the loaner truck. I ain't got my Volvo back yet, and it's starting to piss me off. Unfortunately, I, shit, I wish it did. That'd make this game a whole lot more entertaining. Can't take that one. But I can take that one. Uh, let's get some more fuel. Just another 2,000. All right, reinforced loading docks, done. Let's go see what that came with. Okay, that came with the air cargo warehouse. Okay, that's the bigger warehouse. Let's do advanced barrel logistics because that comes with the large fuel barrel stock. And then next, we'll get the advanced driver training and ramp service. Uh, I need to finish out these guys here. Um, ramp service. I'm good on construction. Um, office furniture, flight scheduling, airport management building. All right, so I still got some uh, stuff I got to research. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, I haven't tried streaming ATS yet. I plan to at some point. I just don't know exactly when. Um, it all depends, really. Honestly, it does. That's an expensive building. Um, I actually, I, I played the tutorial for this game already. Um, but this is my first time actually playing the game. I'm getting really tired of this fuel delivery truck being late every stinking time. I didn't want to, I didn't really want to get, you know, into the game and, you know, without, you know, everybody seeing my legitimate first impressions of it. And so far, I'm, I'm honestly really, truly having fun with this game. <coughs> this is turning out to be a lot of fun. I am thinking about doing something a little bit different, though. If I can put a ramp down here at the bottom. Oh my god, I can. <laughs> that just changed everything. Oh, Shazam. I need to plug my phone in so I can keep watching chat. There we go. Now I can take more planes. <laughs> well, 
I mean, you know, a decent streamer is going to pay attention to the chat, you know? I want to pay attention to you guys, too. Not just the game. Otherwise, I mean, what kind of piece of shit would that make me, you know? Oh, there's my do. Get that code red action going. Decadent. No, I said decent. Who wants to watch a guy that's not going to pay attention to chat and interact with the chat? I mean, come on, man. Ah, gotcha. 1056. So, I mean, as you guys can see, I mean, this isn't, you know, just a fast paced rock'em sock'em, you know, super fast income game. You know, it takes time to build up your airport, to make money. It, honestly, it excites me. Old lane. I mean, look, what laner does is what laner does. What I do is what I do. <laughs> Look, I just, I want to be, I want to get better as a streamer because what I care about is entertaining whoever's watching. That's what I care about. I, I know, Haas. I know. I, 
I just I I want to provide the best entertainment that I can provide. Well, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I I can honestly say this is the longest anybody's ever stayed in one of my streams consecutively. Thanks, Chug. It, exactly, Jason. Or or you guys just, you know, are taking pity on me. One of the two. Twelve hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I always knew I could count on you guys to never lie to me. Yes, I know you're brutally honest. <laughs> well, that's always something I can count on you guys for. These last two planes need to hurry up and get the hell out of my airport. And I figured, you know, that, you know, Shug, that I figured that that's important. You know, I. That's something that I should be doing. No one wants to sit there and, you know, watch somebody just, you know, talk a bunch of bullshit. You know, you, you're watching somebody play the game. You want to hear them explain what they're doing, why they're doing, why they're doing it. If it's a new game, then you want to hear them, you know, describe the game and, and the gameplay to you, you know, as well as interact with you. No one likes to be ignored, you know. But when you get to a certain point, you know, it's you get so many people rolling in your chat like poor, poor clutch, you know, the the only ones that you actually, you know, are able to recognize are you know, the, the only ones that you really talk to are the ones that you were able to recognize. Absolutely, Haas, I feel the same way.
All right, we're up to five G's. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. Go back, take a look and see what office furniture got us. Um, a workflow boost. Let's go ahead and take a look over there, over here. Uh, workflow boosts, boost. Uh, workflow speed up, five, five percent speed up. Okay, cool. Let's see what um, flight scheduling is about. Exactly. It's it's insane even with slow mode turned on. So let's see what uh, flight scheduling is about. Flights on request are a dead uh, are a dead end to reach a new level of efficiency a fundamentally different approach is required trains have been running on schedules for many years so you should follow the example of what already works it is time for airplanes to arrive and depart on time you can schedule five total signed flights simultaneously that is cool let's go ahead and get that going Absolutely. More cargo. I needed to build the bigger cargo facility. All right, we're at six thousand dollars, but I need to purchase more fuel. Thirty six hundred dollars. Flight scheduling. All right, let's pause the game and look, see how we can do this uh, flight scheduling here. Um, hmm. <clears throat> All right, Haas. All right, Jason. Thanks, bud. Have a good night. I'm about to call it myself here pretty soon. Well, And then there was one little Indian left in the chat.
Oh, hell. <coughs> Ah, shit. Drop my damn phone. There we go. Emotional damage. I could be my own soundboard. <laughs> there you go, Haas. Not a bad way to close out the day. I'm going to go ahead and fill up the fuel supply. Bam! Airport Management Building. Uh, white collar work these days. Need larger office buildings and with expanded workspace to help in insulate. Uh, I don't know how that freaking word. Efficient practice. New furniture is introduced into the workplace, meant to reshape the posture of the employees. Program their actions and determine sightlines, soundscapes, and circulation patterns. So as well as improving the work efficiency, with new equipment and more desk jobs, clerks also get cared for. Why not? Bloody fuck it.
All right, let's go ahead and fast forward to midnight. All right, not a bad day. Shazam, let's get her going. Get all these planes rolling through. Might have to expand my ramps, man. Jeez. I really need to put this down. That's going to at least help me get the, the planes fueled up faster. How much for that other cargo warehouse? Frickin' 33-30. Jesus. All right, airport management building is done. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Shug.
There we go. That'll help. Yes. Wow, that seriously increased my capacity for cargo. <clears throat> All right, go back in here. <clears throat> Barrel trolleys. Do 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 do. Barrel trolleys. <clears throat> Skycaps. Productivity boost of passenger boarding in early days. Airport station. Cool. <clears throat> Definitely got to get that one. Another plane. All right. All right, we got that one coming in. All right, let's see what time it is. Wow, it is 11.25. Damn, this is an addictive game. Not going to lie. But unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to call it. Let's go ahead and save the game.
Thanks, Haas. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> All right. We will title this one Stream One and save. We could go ahead and exit out the main menu here. All right, everybody. It is interesting, honestly, Shug. It's a, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I definitely want to keep streaming this game. And honestly, I hope you guys keep go, keep coming back for more. But I am really tired, and I got to get up at 6 and be out of here by 6.30 so I can uh, drive the 13 miles to my delivery. All right, Shug. Um, give Gabe uh, a wave hi for me. And um, Haas, I don't know if you're still in here, but thanks for dropping in. Shug, thanks for dropping in. Um Hit that like button. I already know you guys are subbed. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And keep on trucking, man. <laughs>